Hey guys, it's Alex Wargo. I'm gonna, gonna be teaching you how to draw the differences between a gram positive and gram negative bacteria for Cooper's class. He uh, puts it on a lot of tests. You don't have to be good at drawing. Doesn't matter, I suck at drawing. I can still do it. So we started out, both cells have a plasma membrane. That's what's drawn right now. And then uh, I'm drawing the nucleoid, also shared by both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. That's where all their DNA is stored. As you can see, no skill involved. Here I'm drawing the ribosomes that both cells also have. <coughs> uh, like I said, Cooper puts this on almost all his tests. It was on the final two. We had to draw gram positive bacteria. So it's good, good, easy skill, easy points on the test. Make sure you know it. And here I'm drawing the cell wall around the gram-positive bacteria. A gram-positive bacteria has a thicker cell wall than a gram-negative bacteria. And that actually causes the staining properties of gram-positive negative bacteria. When you stain the bacteria with crystal violet and then wash it off later with alcohol, the alcohol dehydrates the cell wall and causes it to shrink around the cell. And uh, when you wash it off, none of the stain comes out of the gram positive cell because the thicker cell wall has retained the stain and that's why when you look at them in the microscope a gram positive cell is purple while a gram negative cell which is a thinner cell wall as you can see me drawing right now uh, all the stain is leaked out so gram negative cells are pink when uh, stained with crystal violet up next I'm drawing <coughs> Membrane proteins also found on the plasma membrane of both gram positive and negative cells. So I draw them around on both cells. Uh, you can label them if you need to. Um, no real difference. They're not, in, uh, but they're like found on all cells, but plasma membrane of both. Yeah, there you go. It's on the gram negative cell too. I'm doing a voiceover and watching the video in case this is weird and it seems like something that I wouldn't be saying. I'm watching myself draw this and then explaining what I'm doing. Here I'm drawing an outer membrane on the gram-negative cell. <coughs> so, gram-negative cells are the only one with an outer membrane. Gram-positive do not have an outer membrane. And here I'm drawing uh, some bronze lipoproteins to connect uh, the cell wall with the cell membrane. Only gram-negative cells have that. And then on the gram-positive pos cell here, I'm drawing uh, lipotechoic acid, which reaches from the plasma membrane to this, all the way to the cell wall. And then after the lipotechoic acid, I am drawing just tachoic acids, which are little, smaller proteins that are just found only on the cell wall, and they're only near the top. And then I switch back, I believe, to the gram-negative cell. And I'm drawing here LPS, or lipo lipopolysaccharides, that are only found on the outside of gram-negative bacteria. And uh, they're all around the cell, and they poke out. Uh, they're definitely found on E. coli. So difference that only gram-negative cells have compared to gram-positive. So you can see here, up close, that's a view of my gram positive, and that's a view of my gram negative cell. And we'll go back out, show you both again. All right, that's the differences in how you draw gram positive and negative bacteria for Cooper's class. Thank you.